Good morning, guys. It is a fantastic day here in Culver City. You can tell the sun is right there. The sky is beautiful and blue. I'm just making my way up to the gas station. I have got to get some oil for my car. And then we are heading off to the LBC. That's right, Long Beach Compton. Except we're not going to the Compton part. We are just going to the Long Beach part because there's a couple things down there. We're going to bring the drone. We're going to have some fun. Join me. Won't you? On our way, for those of you that are playing along on the home game, we are taking the 405 from Culver City down to the 710, 710 all the way down to the ocean. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about two things. The first thing is about completion. The second component is about self-discovery. So the first thing, completion, I'm happy to announce that I have finished my King of Culver City song. It was a ton of work, a ton, but I chipped away at it wherever it got an hour, wherever it got two hours, and finally I got it done. So I wrote, recorded, sang, mastered it myself. The song is done. Now I'm just looking around in Culver City for some locations and I'm gonna shoot the music video. So I'm gonna get that to you guys as soon as I can because I'm super excited to get it to you guys. It's really fun. Once again, it's called The King of Culver City. The second component that I wanted to talk about is self-realization. Now, what had happened to me, I've been away a little bit from the vlogging and I started to look at that. I'm like, what's up with that? Why am I not doing it? My last vlog, which was Vlog 100, I think, is awesome. It's got so many components. It was so fun. I checked off a couple things for my bucket list. I'll put a link down below for you guys to check it out, but it's the very last vlog, so you can check that out yourself. What I discovered was I was so worried about doing a new vlog because I knew that it wouldn't compare to vlog 100. There's nothing that I could do to get it to that level. And I was so excited about vlog 100 to deliver that content at that quality that I just kept on postponing. I'm like, oh, I can't do this, or I complain about the heat, I can't vlog today because it's too hot. We have been going through a heat wave here in Los Angeles, it's just at the tail end, but it's been over 100 degrees and it was crazy hot. But I was able to record the song in that temperature. We don't have air conditioning at home, so I just slugged through it. So the, the point that I'm trying to make is, it was an internal block that I had about not being able or in my head thinking that I couldn't produce content up to the quality of vlog 100. So it took me a little while to get through that. I discovered that that's what I was doing. I was putting things off, but now I'm back at it and I'm glad you guys are here with me today for our adventure to Long Beach, California. Oh, and yes, I know I need a haircut. I have a wife, so she reminds me all the time that I need a haircut. Here we are in downtown Long Beach. I don't know Long Beach that well. I used to do some catering gigs down here, so I'd come down every once in a while, but that was a long time ago. Don't know the food situation well enough. Just gonna go into a uh, subway um, up here on the left here, get some food, because the place we're going to after that, they don't have such good food. So I'm gonna get that wrapped up, and then we'll move on to the next thing. All fueled up for a little stop at Subway, jumping back in the car and heading to our next destination, which is ah, about five minutes from here. See you there. Oh. Guys, here we are at the Aquarium of the Pacific. And if you love seafood like I love seafood, I think the idea is that we go in, 
We look around, see what we like, we pick it out, and they throw it on the barbecue out the back. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think that's the way this place works. Anyway, let's go inside. Guys, these are really tasty and they're great value for your money. I've got my eye on this with a nice butter sauce. Guys, we're over here at the Laura Keat Avery. Got some nectar. We're gonna go inside and feed the Laura Keat. Yummy. Oh yeah. It's an awesome setup they have here with these little shooters. They're like four bucks a pop. They're more expensive than if you went across the street and got some shooters over at Hooters. Ba boom. And the Laura Keats have been doing this long enough that as soon as you come in the front door, they jump you if you're carrying this nectar. It's awesome. They are so beautiful. Any company that does anything to do with color always uses these birds as their de facto in color because they are absolutely beautiful. This guy looks like the alpha here because he just jumped on my arm and got rid of everybody else. So he's going to town. This is a poisonous mist that they spread all through here. It helps to pacify the lorikeets. It does something to do with their medulla oblongata in their brain and it slows them right down because if not, they will swarm you and peck your eyes out. Don't Bone dry. Guys, he sucked this stuff down like it's nectar. All right, we're saying bye to the lorikeets here. They have this double door system. So there's two doors, one door there, one door there. You gotta make sure that that door is closed, there's no birds in here, and then you can exit through these doors right here. Bye, Laura Keats. I just had a funny moment over at the shark tank there where you stick your hand in and pet them. I hurt my thumb this morning. It had a little hangnail and it caught on my pants, tore the whole nail off, and I think you can see it there, but it is bleeding, so I have blood on it. The thought is, don't put the blood in with the sharks. So what I do is, I have a GoPro, and I'm thinking, don't put the GoPro on the hand that has the blood in it in the shark tank, because I'm like smart like that. So what I do is, I put it on this arm, and in goes the eye watch. But it seems to work. I had it in there for 30 seconds before I really noticed, hey, I got my watch on. I don't think that watch is waterproof. Anyway, it seems to be working, so we're all good over at the Shark Tank there. Guys, we have arrived at my favorite destination here, sea otters. I don't know what it is about sea otters. I love sea otters. I think it's because they're so playful. I actually follow a girl on uh, Instagram who has a sea otter, I think in Japan or somewhere, and all she does is upload images, video of this sea otter, and I watch it for hours. Love me the sea otters.
guys, we are back on the board saying goodbye to the Pacific Aquarium. Just heading up a really steep hill here on the board. Got it flat out, just edging along. We are headed right over there. Get some drone footage of the Queen Mary. Beautiful day down here in Long Beach. It's probably in the low 80s. Very little wind, which is great for the drone. And if you can see that big white building over there, that's where Howard Hughes stored the Spruce Goose, which at the time was the largest flying airplane in the world. It was ginormous. So he flew it here in the bay. It didn't fly very far, but he got it up in the air and flew with it and then just parked it over here in the big dome. Since then, it's moved. I don't think it's there anymore. I'm not quite sure where it is. We have arrived here over at the Queen Mary is right behind us there. Got the drone in the tree there. I'm gonna set up, take up off over that way and head over that way on the drone. Right across there is downtown Long Beach. That's the auditorium there. We were over right in that area right there and then we made our way all the way on the skateboard over to here. Let's set it up and get it up in the air. Boom! I'm just decreasing my heart rate as it was skipping multiple beats moments ago just before I landed the drone. So I took it up, I went way out there, I kept it in low, low profile in there, and something on the transmitter shook. It gives you a little warning on the transmitter. I looked down and it said something to do with obstacle avoidance, not working or failed. Anyway, and it sort of grayed out the screen. So my heart jumps out of my chest as I'm flying over the water and I'm very far and at that exact moment I lose it. There's like a marine layer there and I can't see it anymore. Panic, panic, panic. So what I end up doing is I flip, return to home, drone flies back here, lands, <sighs> heart rate back to normal. So we're wrapping it up and getting the hell out of here. It is crazy beautiful down here today. I'm very grateful for this day. Well, guys, we're just coming back past the aquarium there in the background. I just wanted to clear up a little something from earlier in the day. My mistake, apparently, there's no barbecuing of the animals whatsoever. All my mistake. I don't know where I heard it, got it confused. Just wanted to clear that up with you guys. Apparently, you just go in, look at the animals. I tried to pick out one, two, maybe three or four. There's no one there to do the barbecuing. Maybe it was years ago, I don't know. Anyway, don't expect any barbecued fish at the Pacific Aquarium. Pro tip for you. Boom! Guys, thank you so much for joining with me today in our little adventure here in Long Beach, California at the aquarium and then over at the Queen Mary. Had an awesome day, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because it is a little after three o'clock on a Friday afternoon. That means heavy, 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 heavy traffic here in Los Angeles. So I'm just trying to beat it back home. So I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Please subscribe, please like, please tell your friend. And most of all, please comment down below because you know I love reading your comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.